there friends, how is it going? My name is Rabbit and thank you so much for joining me for episode number 36 of Let's Play Hoshigami Ruining Blue Earth. In our last episode, we got somewhat of a history lesson from Leia regarding the world and its lore and the entire relationship between the different elemental spirits and I guess we'd call them humans, humanoids, whatever you wanna label them, basically the people of the Hoshigami world and realm. So after talking with her a little bit, we decided we were going to head back to Tuss and it is red, so we know that there is going to be a fight waiting for us. I'm not sure who's going to be here. We did end up facing off against Limeray as Faz, and in spite of all the bullshit Limeray has pulled so far, Faz is insistent upon proclaiming Limeray to be his best friend. Not sure what that's all about, but he wouldn't be our goody two-shoes protagonist if he didn't hold fast to his loyalty, even though Limeray has chosen not to be loyal, but I'm sure we'll find out more about it. So let us dive into Tuss, see what will be shared with us, and if we'll learn something new. I've returned, Your Majesty. Oh, there isn't a fight? Just a cutscene? Huh, very strange. I'm glad to see you again, you may rise. So, how is the temple? Is the priestess of water safe? The forces that attacked the temple of water were not of the lame. They were led by a man named Limeray. He and Leia, the priestess of water, seemed to know each other. We were able to protect the temple and the priestess from his troops. What's the matter, Faz? You sound a bit awkward. I, it's nothing, your majesty. By the way, did the priestess of water tell you anything? Like Marcelva, for example? Uh, King, do you know something that you're not sharing with us? She told me all about the Ixian legends. Not only that, she said I should talk to someone named Luke so I can learn even more about the legends. Luke, why do you keep hanging out behind that curtain? Like, what are you doing? Is that right? I don't know why Leia acts so bluntly all the time. Why don't you visit her again sometime? Perhaps she will be more open to you. Who are you? What the fuck? So strange, but I guess that's the tip we need to go back and see Leia and if she'll join us, maybe. My name is Luke. Nice to meet you. Ooh, King Zelson's got some abs. Y'all see that outline? He's the authority on the Ixian legends, especially the legend of King Sarnus. He currently works for me as an advisor. The authority on the Ixian legends. Luke, I need your advice. Lately, I've been hearing things related to the legends like Ixia and Marcelva, and that this continent is about to be destroyed, and... Please tell me, what do I have to do with Ixia? Everybody keeps saying Ixia this, Ixia that. Now, now, you need to calm down, Faz. Do you know what the Marcelva are? Yes, but just a little. I heard the elemental spirits are sustaining the continent of Martius, and using the Marcelva will bring about the destruction of Martius. What's all this about? I don't understand at all. Marcelva is a vessel for holding a vast amount of the elemental spirit's power. You can think of it as a large coin. Leia told me the same thing, but how is it related to the destruction of this continent? Do you know that Martius is sustained by the power of the spirits? Yes, I heard from Sylphados, the Priest of Wind, who's right here with us. Why do we keep talking about him like he's not in our party? The continent of Martius, the Blue Earth, is falling as we speak. Coinfime is an act of releasing the power of the spirits bound within a metal called Manatite. However, the released power cannot be returned to the Earth, and there is a finite amount of the spirits' power. Some of the power, of course, is created and consumed naturally, but the balance is now upset by the use of Coinfimes in war. This continent is falling as the result, however, slightly it may be at this point. Now, if the immense power of the spirits bound within the Marcelva is to be released, the balance will be completely lost, and that will most likely destroy Martius. But, on the other hand, if the power of the Marcelva can be controlled, it is possible to sustain the continent without the elemental spirits. There was a man who tried to accomplish that in the Age of Legends. Via. That's correct. He was Via, the creator of the Marcelva. I'm sure you are aware of the legend of King Sarnus, and you must have heard from Leia as well, so I will skip the details. Thank you, Luke, because she legitimately talked for like 10 minutes in our last episode about all of this, so I don't know why we're talking to you about it again. There's one thing I'd like to mention, though. 
After the war ended and the Kingdom of Ixia was rebuilt, three organizations, which later became Nightweld, Velaim, and Gerald, were established. Nightweld was assigned to guard Lar de Lu, the capital of Ixia, and the Marcelva kept in the Tower of Wind and the Tower of Lightning. Velaim was given the task of watching over the Temple of Fire and the Temple of Earth, while Gerald protected the Temple of Water and the Temple of Force. Is anyone missing, or is that all of them? I know about that too. No, not just me, but everybody on this continent. True, if you're talking about the legend told among humans. What was that? Nothing. What? What? What do you mean, nothing? Anyway, my point is that the Marcelva have the power to change the fate of this continent. And the Marcelva are the priests themselves. A priest becomes one with the Marcelva through what is called the Rite of Heritage. When he senses that his death is near, he chooses from his clan a person who is worthy of becoming the next priest. Then, through the Rite of Heritage, he transfers the Marcelva from himself to the next priest. But in the case where a successor is not found or the Prius meets an unexpected end, the Marcelva takes its original form of an orb until the next Prius is decided. That's how the Marcelva have been guarded for generations. I learned this from the late Prius of Force when he passed away. But Sulfato showed me his Marcelva, and it had the shape of an orb. Hmm, perhaps he hasn't undergone the rite of heritage for some reason, or it could be that he isn't from a clan of Prius and was entrusted with the Marcelva. Is there something I'm unaware of? Well, I have a clearer understanding of the legend now. I learned that the Marcelva are dangerous, and using them to sustain the continent can only be achieved at the cost of countless elemental spirits. But what do you want me to do? I'm just a mercenary. There are people who are more suited for the job. You know, like yourself and King Zelston. I will do my best to defeat Velaim and eliminate coin finds from Mardius. In fact, I've been preparing for this, waiting for the right moment to strike. Then there's no problem. I'll do whatever I can to assist you. Velaim's goal is to conquer and reign over the entire continent. Acquisition of the Marcelva is not in their plan. It's very possible that they may not have even heard of the Marcelva. There are only a small number of people, including the clans of Prius, who know of their existence. So, including Limeray, I'm guessing, is what that's hinting at. We're unsure as to who is trying to acquire the Marcelva, or for what reason, or slash purpose, whatever, but it's certain that there is an individual who is working behind the war to acquire the Marcelva. And I'm afraid his goal is not the conquest of Mardius, but the fulfillment of the prophecy in the legend, the prophecy of Elvia. Yes, we know, 3,000 years after the pact between the elemental spirits and the humans, the ancient spirit will return and engulf the earth in a great calamity. Behold, he who bears my blood and that of Sarnus will rise from Cursilius. Together with the six Hoshigami, he will vanquish the spirit and restore peace to the earth. Yes, I don't know what the line... The ancient spirit will return and engulf the earth in a great calamity indicates. Whether it refers to the destruction of Mardius due to the release of the power bound within the Marcelva, it is really predicting the return of some elemental spirit, or it points to something different. Possibly Faz, I guess, since everyone's implying that he is Ixian. I don't know where they're going with all this, but... Luke continues, my belief is that this individual is planning to cause this great calamity. Oh, or maybe they're referring to Limeray, I don't know. Or Blackthorn, maybe? Following the conclusion of the pact, the Prius and the Great Spirits have taken the role of exchanging info so they could learn the status of their societies without breaking the pact. However, as time went by, both the pact and the role were forgotten, and in the end, humans started a war by using the forbidden coin finds. Faz, King Zelston is from the clan of Prius of Force. Because he broke the code and became king, even though it was strongly requested by both the people of Gerald and the former king, who was without an heir, the late priest of Force didn't approve him as the next priest. The late priest entrusted him with the Marcelva and the procedure for conducting the rite of heritage, and instructed him to, in to assist the prophesied Cursilian when the time comes. I was there as a witness, that's why I know about the Marcelva in detail. Why are you telling me this? I know! I feel the same way, Faz! What does this have to do with anything? Faz, do you remember your father? What? Well, why do you ask me that all of a sudden? I don't remember anything about my father or my mother. Ever since I can remember, I was with Limeray. Now that I think about it, I don't remember much about when I was little. Your father's name was Yinold? He was a peddler when I first met him, carrying you in his arms. 
He had an air of dignity and intellect about him, which was very unusual for a peddler. And above all, he had the features of an ancient Ixian that I was researching at the time. He was selling these coins that created fire out of nowhere and froze things. This was before Valame started the war. You know my father? And those coins, aren't they? That's what I thought too. These must be the coin finds that the legendary King Sarnus put out of existence. Of course, they were much weaker than the coin finds that are used today. I wanted to ask him questions, so I invited Yainold over to my house. Okay, flashback time? I, like, what? How do you know Faz's father? What the fuck? And where was Faz's mom? My name is Luke. I'm doing some research in my spare time. Ooh, Yainold's kind of cute too. My name is Yainold. I make my living as a peddler. Please excuse my rudeness, but you don't look like a peddler. Are you not of higher status? What the fuck does that even mean? He looks the same as everybody else. As you've guessed, I'm not a peddler. Okay, well that didn't take long to get him to crack. <laughs> That's like if someone has a, has a secret and they've got their poker face and, and you basically say to them, are you sure you're who you say you are? And then they they just fold and they say, oh yeah, actually you're right. I'm not what I just told you I was. Okay, but I don't belong to the upper class either. I am from the Knight Weldon town of Cursilius, located in the Arcus Peninsula near Lardalu. Cursilius? You mean the town mentioned in the legend of King Sarnus? You are correct. This is incredible. Cursilius actually existed. Yes, but the town is protected by a magic ward which keeps the town undetected. And there is a rule that prohibits those who were born in Cursilius from ever leaving the town until the day of the prophecy. Then what made you decide to leave the town and become a peddler? This is my son, Faz. I needed to leave the town in order to raise him. Where's his mom? Everybody died from a plague. Only my son and I survived. Oh, that fucking sucks. No, there was one more. Okay. I'm very sorry to hear that. Now, if I may, can I ask you what the coin-like thing is that you're selling? I've never seen an object so small that can make fire all by itself. It's one of the abilities that the Cursilians possess. It's strictly forbidden to expose this ability to the outside world, but to raise my son, I had no other choice. Yainold, my research is on the subject of the Ixian legends. Isn't that ability known as Coinfime in the legend of King Sarnas? The ability to bind the power of the elemental spirit and use it? I don't know, and I cannot tell you anything else on this matter. I see. By the way, what are you planning to do from now on? Continue traveling around the continent as a peddler? I don't think it's a good idea to spread that forbidden ability of yours any further. And that kind of lifestyle is not suitable for your child either. If you don't mind, I would like you to remain here and help me with my research. I recently adopted a child who is about the same age as Faz. Is it Lime Ray? Oh, her name is Elena. I'm sure they will get along fine. Oh, great. I think she's a recruitable character that we missed. She was optional if we went back to the soul or something. At least that's what a couple of you have been saying in comments and PMs. Thanks for the spoilers, you guys. For my son's sake, thank you. I'll accept your offer. I don't know. I think we can still get her, possibly. I don't know. Maybe we missed the chance. I don't know. I don't care. But what happened then to Yainold? Starting that day, we worked together on researching the Ixian legends. Yainold was very devoted to the study of ancient Ixia. We came to trust and confide in each other. Then one day, he came up to me and apologized for what he had done. Though it was true that he and his child were at a loss, it turned out that he dressed up as a peddler and came to me in order to do research on the legend of King Sarnas. He intentionally showed me coin fimes to draw my attention and hid the fact that his ability was to create coin fimes. Because 3,000 years have passed since the pact, it was possible that he was the one to vanquish the ancient spirit as foretold in the prophecy. So is Yainold still alive or not, Luke? Where are you going with all this? In order to learn how to accomplish such a feat, he studied the legend of King Sarnas. He also said there was another version of the legend, but he didn't tell me what it was about. He said I wasn't ready for it yet. About a year passed since I first met Yainold. We received news that the lame employed coin fimes to invade Yugo. So Yainold is still alive, I guess? I feel like they're taking forever to kind of get to the point. Like, I get it, I need backstory, blah, blah, blah. Did you hear about Valame's invasion of Yugo? Yes, I did. That's where the Temple of Force is located. 
Could they be after the Marcelva and the coin finds that they are using? From what I heard, they are similar to what you showed me before. Luke, I need to tell you something. The coin finds that Valaim used, I'm sure those are identical to what I showed you. And also, I told you before that the people of Cursilius died from a plague, but the truth is, they perished because of coin fimes. I see. I have to stop them. Coin fimes must not be used or else the prophesied calamity will occur. The ancient spirit will return and engulf the earth in a great calamity. Is that what you're talking about? Do you have any idea what will happen? I don't know, but it has been told among the people of Cursilius for generations. It's just a folktale, right? I still have to go. I'm responsible for taking coin fime out of Cursilius. I'm glad I met you, Luke. Take care. What are you going to do with Faz? I'd appreciate it if you could look after him for me. He's a Cursilian. If anything should happen to me... All right. Wait, so then Luke fucked up and didn't watch Faz? How the fuck did Faz end up with Lime Ray? Luke, you done fucked up. You had one job, Luke. The next day, Yainold was gone, and you were gone as well. He probably couldn't bear to leave you. Oh, okay, well, that explains that. Sorry for pointing fingers, Luke, a little prematurely. That's my guess, of course, but honestly, I'm so glad that you were safe. So, you see, you're the son of Yainold, the Cursilian. I later received a letter from your father regarding the legend of King Sarnas, but that was it. I don't know what happened to him, but he strove to fulfill his duty as the Cursilian. Baz, should you not carry on your father's will? But I don't remember anything about my father. How am I supposed to know if the Yainold person was really my father? Elena, come over here. Oh, she's here. So I guess if I had recruited her earlier, it would have changed maybe how this conversation went. Yes, Dad. This is Elena, my adopted daughter. You used to play with her when you and Yainold were at my house. Don't you remember? No, I don't. I know she remembers you very well. Maybe it's because she's a year older than you. One year makes a big difference when you're small. Okay, thanks, Luke. You really don't know who I am? I can't believe this. Oh, I see. You didn't recognize me because I was so much better looking than before. Well, do you remember me now? Just remember them titties, Elena. I'm sorry, I can't. You, my father, I can't recall anything around that time. How can a guy forget about a cute girl like me, huh? Now, now, Elena, if he says he doesn't remember, you can't do anything about it. Moving back to the subject. <laughs> Thanks, Lou, because I didn't like the direction this was going in. I was searching the continent for you all this time. When I was informed of a young Knight Weldon mercenary whose features resembled those of an Ixian, Elena rushed out of the house, saying that she would check out the mercenary herself. I guess she really missed you, Faz. Oh, so I guess that's why we would have ended up finding her at Desol? What, what, what are you saying, Dad? I was just, um... I was told about your scar from a fight that you and Elena had when you two were little. She sent me a report soon after she left. She said you looked very similar to when you were little and she found the scar on you. And I was likewise convinced when I saw you, you looked just like Yainold. Yeah, minus the mutton chops. Faz, since you are Cursilian, the prophecy will revolve around you whether you like it or not. As proof, you have already come in contact with several Prius. If you are destined to be involved in the legend, is it not better for you to accept your fate? That way you can at least prepare yourself and plan ahead. You're right, but since the use of coin fimes in this war is having an immediate effect on Martius, we should take care of Valaim first. What would you like me to do? I will give the official notice on the military operation tomorrow. Can you come back then? Yes, your majesty. One more thing, Faz. Elena is the daughter of the priest of Earth and has undergone the rite of heritage. Okay. She's the priestess of Earth? That's correct. The priest of Earth was a friend of mine. I strongly believe that the priest of Earth that's in Valaim right now is an imposter. I don't know who he is or for what reason he is posing as the priest of Earth. He does look identical and Emperor Fernandez places confidence in him, so I can't denounce him without any evidence, but if he's the real Prius, there's no need to perform the rite of heritage on Elena in such a hurry, since he is alive and well. And there's absolutely no need to ask me to take care of her either. She's already like a fucking teenager or young adult. What are you talking about? I didn't say anything at the time, but he had probably foreseen his doom and brought Elena to me. There could have been other intentions that I'm not aware of, though. Okay, so what? 
I love that Faz is basically saying the things that I'm thinking. I have a feeling that this issue on the Priest of Earth is related to what we are dealing with, and it is clearly stated in the prophecy that the power of the Hoshigami, or the modern-day Prius and Priestess, are necessary to defeat the ancient spirit. When the time comes, Elena will surely be of help to you. I want you to take Elena with you. All right, fine, whatever. I missed her into Seoul, so bitch, hop on. I'll protect her to the best of my ability. You can count on me, Elena. Thanks. Okay, great. We got a new recruit. Yay. I guess. So much information, you guys. But kind of a family reunion, I guess. Well, let's go ahead and call this an episode. And when we resume in our upcoming video, they might have some more information to share with us. But I get the feeling that we've already learned pretty much what we're going to learn at this point. Um, hopefully, we'll have a chance to take a peek at Elena's stats and then maybe do a little bit of messing around with coin farm i don't know we'll just see where elena's at oh no i guess that means i might have to drop juliet well we will take a look at who all's in our party what elena's going to bring to the table and we'll kind of move forward from there so thank you very much for watching everyone my name is rabbit and this is my semi blind playthrough of hoshigami rooting blue earth i'll see you very soon in our upcoming episode together